Cinefax developers of Houdini just released a sneak peek of some of the new features coming to Houdini 21. Let's start with character rigging and animation. Houdini 21 will deliver a major overhaul to character rigging and animation workflows. It introduces new Kinefax auto rigging modules for various body parts, such as limbs, hands, feet, necks, etc., along with updated spine rig that supports squash and stretch and improved biped rig components. The rigging environment is now powered by Cinefax new Apex architecture, enabling procedural rig generation and, as you might expect, a user-friendly drag-and-drop rig builder directly in the viewport. In simulation and effects, Houdini 21 introduces Otis, a GPU-accelerated organic tissue solver that brings near fem quality to muscle, skin, and fat simulations. It enables realistic muscle and fat collisions and real-time character deformations greatly improving character effects, I mean for those who need creature work. Beyond characters, the update expands Houdini Core VFX Toolkit. For example, the PyroFX system gains a new sparse smoke and fire solver and an AI-based uppress feature, allowing you to generate high-detail, frame-coherent smoke simulations more quickly. Also, the Material Point Method, or MMP solver for granular materials, also sees enhancements like the brie emission and surface tension support, yielding more natural behavior for sand, snow, and similar effects. In addition to this, you will benefit from improved interactive tools for shaping simulations. Houdini 21 adds features like real-time sculpting and painting brushes, in addition to adaptive mesh remeshing and better collision handling, giving you as a VFX artist more control to our direct cloth, fluids, and destructive effects. Houdini 21 also brings refinements to modeling and environment creation. As a 3D modeler, you will benefit from improved topology and UV workflows, simply because the software can now handle complex geometry edits, and it can do that more robustly and offers better movement-based UV layout management and intuitive selection and painting tools for sculpting and geometry. In addition to this, environment building is made easier with the new Dryad Biome Toolkit, for procedural terrain and foliage generation, which is now fully integrated with Houdini's USD-based solar system and even directly compatible with game engines such as Unreal. These tools allow artists to create landscapes and ecosystems with higher detail and to seamlessly transfer them between Houdini and external platforms. In addition, Houdini 21 introduces Neural Point Surfacing, an AI-driven technique that can convert particle and fluid simulations into high-detail services. Also, rendering is seeing significant upgrades in Houdini 21, so alongside deeper USD integration, the built-in Karma renderer has been optimized for higher performance and quality. So you can expect faster render times and new features such as adaptive service support, also more robust motion blur, improved path tracing fidelity, and updated denoising using Intel's latest open image denoise engine. Interactive visualization is also greatly improved thanks to a new Vulkan-powered viewport that is officially now production-ready. This modern viewport achieves full quality with the legacy OpenGL view and adds advanced visual features like real-time ray trace ambient occlusion, also a physical sky environment light, and a better handling of large scenes through multi-threading and automatic VRAM management. When it comes to performance and pipeline enhancements, the PDG system gets new capabilities, including machine learning nodes for tasks like style transfer and denoising, support for exporting formats like GLTF, and overall faster execution of background tasks. This release also brings a host of user interface and experience improvements aimed at making Houdini more artist-friendly. So the UI has been cleaned up with more intuitive parameter controls and streamlined workflows we can mention, for example, multi-parameter dialogues, which have been simplified, and it is now easier to bind custom hotkeys to tools or actions. Houdini 21 also introduces quality of life features, like recipe subnets, and the new ability to toggle simulations on and off, and you can do that live in the viewport, so you as an artist can quickly preview scenes without heavy playback slowdowns. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.